be free of this heart Yeah Wanna feel your arms around me I need you more Need you here More than I would like to admit Let's forget about tomorrow Yeah Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Hattie Homemaking, where I make videos on homemaking, cleaning and lifestyle. So in today's video, we're going to be doing an extreme clean with me. So this is going to be some cleaning motivation for your bathroom and kitchen. So it was more of a deep cleaning day today. So I just wanted to film cleaning these two rooms and also making my bed as well in the morning. I was going to film the entire whole house clean and an all day clean with me but I ended up doing the bathroom and the kitchen and then just said to myself that that was enough for one day. I wanted to do a bit more of a deep clean after I got inspired by an Instagram video I saw with someone using cotton buds to clean the harder places to get to in the bathroom so I really wanted to try that out in today's video and I also got a new flash mop as well so that was what inspired me to get cleaning today so I really hope this gives you loads of cleaning motivation and gets you excited to clean your own home as well. So I really hope you do enjoy this video. If you do enjoy cleaning videos, then please do subscribe to my video as I upload twice a week, once on a Thursday and once on a Sunday at 4 p.m. So without talking too much, let's just get straight on in. You never break, you never lie, you never ever scared of the dark. So why am I the one who cries? I'm so afraid to be left behind. I think about you a lot It's almost like I can't stop Can't stop Yeah, yeah You never lose an argument So I've been trying hard to Okay, so the first thing I did, as I mentioned, was just to make my bed. This was first thing in the morning. As you can see, I'm still in my dressing gown and I like to just make my bed first thing every morning. It just makes me feel so much more motivated. And as you can see, I do have a lot of pillows and blankets and that's just how I like to live the extra cozy way. <laughs> So now we're going to move on to the bathroom so you can't tell much on the camera but the bathroom just was an absolute mess i really hadn't done a deep bathroom clean for a while so today was all about sorting the bathroom out and getting to those places that are harder to get to so the first thing i'm going to do and probably the most essentially is cleaning my toilet so i always give it a wipe over with dry tissue first just to get any dust off then i'm going to go in with an antibacterial wipe before using the pink stuff toilet cleaner on the inside. I get a little bit breathless. My thoughts are too big. Can I get some comfort, please? I guess I should have been honest. It breaks in my heart. It's weighing me down, baby I'm like a river that's overflows Next, a little hack that I like to do is put a little bit of Zaflora into my toilet brush cleaner. It just keeps it smelling really fresh and every time you go to use it, you just get a really nice smell of Zaflora. So I'm using this festive Zaflora one for today. It's the rain. Won't you lay it on me? Turn the page and burn it Okay, so now I'm just moving on to using the cotton bud trick. So I'm just using a little bit of Viacal spray over the top of my toilet flush and I'm just going to get a cotton bud and go all around the edges with it. And you can't tell much on camera, but I definitely got some dirt out that I wouldn't have usually been able to get out. 
Okay, so now moving on to cleaning the sink. So as you can see from this clip, my sink was just atrocious. <laughs> there was makeup all around it that hadn't been cleaned. So I really just wanted to go in and give my sink a real good, thorough, deep clean. So first of all, I'm just going to start by putting some of the flash bathroom cleaner on and I just wipe that all around using water until everything is looking sparkling. No bad thoughts penetrate Hold me like this is the first time now for the cotton bud trick again so i'm just using the viacal and using the cotton bud all around the sink and i got loads of dirt off here it was so satisfying turn the page and burn it let's make And then to finish off the sink, I'm just going to use my Minky M cloth just to shine up my tap. And then I also use it around the sink as well, just to get it extra shiny before then just put in back my toothbrushes and my hand soap. And throw our problems in the flames. Ooh, throw our problems in the Thoughts are too big. Can I get some comfort, please? And then to finish off, I'm just going to put a tiny bit of Sephora down the sink. Now moving on, I'm just going to use white vinegar spray and my Minky M cloth just to clean my mirror and my radiator. I know that you are having a hard time right now. So next I'm just going to pick up this dirty towel and the bath mats and I'm going to wash them today as well. So I just wanted to give this little corner of my bathroom a bit of a tidy up as you can see there was all sorts around so I just put some things in the bin, put my cleaning products back where they needed to be and put this drawer away and then I'm also going to move the toilet roll under the bath where I usually keep it. You threw cause we only want what's best What's best for you I know that you are having trouble believing right so now going on to cleaning the bath, this time I actually used a wipe to clean the bath. I don't usually, I usually use a cloth but this time the wipe just fell out as extra when I was doing the toilet so I thought I might as well use it for something. So I just used it for around the bath. You're all alone in this world but you have to put your trust into us and we will help. Now moving on to the tap, I'm just going to shine it up using my Minky M cloth as well and my white vinegar spray. I feel like this is the duo for anything glass or stainless steel related. Now moving on to my shower, so I'm just going to spray the daily shower shine. So now moving on to hoovering, I like to hoover my bathroom before I mop it just to get up any hairs and dust and things, I just find it a lot easier to hoover first. And then as I mentioned at the start of this video, I got a new flash mop and I was really excited about using it. So I'm just going to use it for the first time in the bathroom and I really, really liked it. I really like how it is just one time use. The other one I used a spray mop and I just found the flash mop so much more convenient. For you, what is bad? 
And then I got a bit carried away with the flash mop so I decided to use it on my walls and then I also used it inside the shower as well and I can highly recommend that it was so much easier. Days we used to shine when we were young I told you that we should start a band and reach for the sky It's 2am and I can't fall asleep I'm just not tired I can hear the raindrops Then finishing off in the bathroom I'm just going to take all the towels off All the dirty towels ready to be washed And then put fresh ones on But it's too late now I just miss you I just miss you Such a constellation, right? No, you to agree. Made a reputation for ourselves at age 18. We had the devil on our shoulders, tipping us. And then that is the bathroom done and looking a lot more sparkling. I wonder if you think about me too. I can hear the Okay, so now moving on to the kitchen. So the first thing I had to do is put all the towels in to wash. So I'm just putting that in with some Fairy Non-Bio Gel and then I'm using the Lenore Outdoorables Softener. I just miss you. As you can see, the kitchen needed a little bit of love. It was looking a little bit trashed, so I thought I would get on top of that today. So first of all, I'm just going to collect the cleaning products that were left out from the bathroom because I really wanted to sort out my cleaning cupboard, which is under the sink. It was just a complete mess. So I decided to take everything out of it, give it a good clean and then put it back in a much more organized way with the things I use most frequently being at the front. the truth real fast and then we're probably done at last cause I got somewhere to be and you're done deceiving me into thinking I couldn't do better yeah I know I was probably crazy thinking someday you'd change there's nothing left to do now so I'm playing the game and so heartbreaker i've been working you out you may lose a mistake 
So now moving on to cleaning the surfaces, so I'm just collecting all the dirty dishes to put next to the sink ready for when I want to give it a clean and then just putting everything back in its rightful place. So I just wanted to show you this trick as well that I do with plastic bags. So I actually fold up my plastic bags now and I know that sounds so stupid but I just find that the one thing I could never work out how to store and I ended up just stuffing them in an ottoman near the front door and they just took up loads of space. So now I fold fold them up really nice and neatly into little triangles and keep it in a little drawer and there's something about doing it that I actually really enjoy now. Making sure that there are no traces of thinking I could have done better yeah, no one was so now moving on to the boring part of cleaning I just hate doing the dishes <laughs> does anyone else feel that way I feel like the dishes I think because you have to do it every single day it just gets so monotonous and I don't know I just really am not a fan I am longing for the day when I can get a dishwasher but anyway I'm just going to start in this area by putting all the old clean dishes away then I'm just going to clean all the dishes I had used throughout the day today Heartbreak again and surrender to me. Once the dishes are happily done and I can move on with this clean with me, I'm going to clean the sink. So unlike cleaning the dishes, I actually really enjoy cleaning the sink. It's one of my favourite things to do. So I'm just using SIF cream on the bottom of the sink and then going to clean all around it and then rinse it with my shower tap head attachment. And then to finish off, I'm going to put a little bit of Zaflora down the sink and then I'm also going to run a bowl of hot water and Zaflora, which I can then use to disinfect my kitchen surfaces. So now I'm just going to put away the dry dishes that I have just done.
this every day And I'm still so amazed by you So hold me tight through the night mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just us two Moving on to cleaning the hob, so since I had the SIF out for the sink I thought I might as well use it on the hob as well. So I'm just using the SIF cream and then my scrub daddy just to give it a really good wipe down. It came up so shiny with this as well so I was made up with it. Then once it's all scrubbed down I'm then just going to use a microfiber cloth just to get rid of all the SIF cream and give it another nice clean. Now going back to the sink area, I'm just going to use that Sephora and water mixture just to disinfect all my sides and it makes the kitchen smell amazing as well. Now to finish off the kitchen, I'm just going to do a little bit of floor hygiene. You can see Murphy at the start there looking at my hoover thinking, oh no, please not. <laughs> he absolutely hates the hoover, so he swiftly ran out of the room. So I'm just going to hoover all my kitchen tiles and then I'm going to go over with the flash mop again. I can't believe you love me alone, alone. I just feel so lucky alone. So that is now the kitchen looking much more put together and tidy and that marks the end of this extreme clean with me video. I really hope you have enjoyed this clean with me. I hope it's given you plenty of cleaning motivation, especially for your bathroom and kitchen. I feel like they're the two areas that once you've done them, it just feels like everything else is more manageable. I think another area people struggle with is the laundry, but I feel like those three things, bathroom, kitchen and laundry, if you can get on top of that, and you're seriously winning at life <laughs> so i really hope you have enjoyed this extreme clean with me please do like this video and subscribe if you have enjoyed it and i will see you in my next one